Okay, so I made a tray here with the zucchini fries. I'm gonna be doing some more on a separate cookie sheet for these last zucchini that are soaking in the egg. And that was actually enough egg. I didn't think it was gonna be enough, but it was two eggs for all of the zucchini. I decided just to make some with regular flour because these are with almond flour. I think my husband like uh, regular flour better. We're just gonna use the almond flour. So I'll be doing the last of these with omelet, but I'm gonna cook these two on a separate cookie sheet. So there's my separate cookie sheet. And now I'm just gonna start placing the rest of the zucchini here. Leave a little gap between every piece of zucchini so they can get fried up pretty well. I know this is last batch. It got kind of wet because of the egg mixture, which I don't like because I want to be able to coat each um, zucchini with the mixture and you see how it's just not sticking yeah so I think what I'm going to do is just add these in the flour over here because these are just not sticking I guess it's just too much of the egg and it's okay I'm going to just improvise um, almond flour is much different from regular flour so I'm just like I said improvise so these last ones are going to go into the flour there we go. And I like to get my dishes cleaned as I cook. How many of you guys like to do that? I like to clean because it just makes it so easier. At least get these soaked because actually our oldest son, he's in charge of dishes. So at least I get the dishes clean and ready. I mean, not clean, but rinse and prep for him to put into the dishwasher. Now, I love zucchini french fries and these are so much healthier, you know, than just going out to a fast food joint. And I like the fresh... Um, and I like the fact that we're using fresh zucchini. You just don't know how fresh that zucchini is that you're getting. So learn to make things. I really just felt like a call in my spirit to make things from scratch at home. We got to learn how to make stuff to help save coins and to learn a skill. You know, God created us to work and to learn things. So learn some stuff. Excuse me, ladies. I just want to rephrase my last statement. So forgive me. Um, yeah, the Lord just put it into my spirit to just give you guys some words of wisdom. It's time now to start learning a lot of new skills in the kitchen. To save money, to learn something new. You'll be able to prepare whatever your family likes. Everybody likes something different. I'm learning to cook something new every day. Have fun with cooking. Pray about it because the Lord is our strength. Ask God to help you. He will help you in every single thing. And so have fun with it. Look at recipes. Put your own twist to recipes, experiment, have fun, because cooking is all about having fun. Make sure you read recipes though. Do your your um, studying, read the recipes carefully, because a lot there's a lot of reading that goes into um, recipes. There's different techniques you can learn, there's substitutions. You really have to study a recipe to get it right. Hey, if you fail, it's okay, keep trying. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have a spill in the kitchen. You know, everything is not gonna be all perfect. I've learned to just let things go. And so really quickly, I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese and get these zucchini fries sprinkled with Parmesan cheese. So there we go. Before I add the Parmesan cheese, before I add the Parmesan cheese, I'm gonna give the zucchini fries just a quick spray with my avocado oil, just for more oil on top. It really helps with the crispiness and just added flavor. I did these with the meatballs. I hope you guys get a chance to see my meatball um, recipe. I'll be posting that too as well. Meatballs with mashed potatoes and gravy. My meatballs got a little overcooked, but the family said it was okay. We still, still all ate and enjoyed that meatball and gravy and mashed potatoes for dinner. And there's so many things you can do with zucchini. It is just so many things. I decided to start off my zucchini journey cooking where it was zucchini starting off with these fries that are baked and i've been looking at this recipe for a hot minute i'll leave the recipe in the description box it's from pinterest my go-to for recipes and more and make sure you follow me on pinterest i'll leave the link to as well okay let's get the parmesan cheese going ooh, 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 ooh. i don't want to put too much okay some more parmesan cheese have fun experiment cooking is so fun i find joy in homemaking that's why i named this channel the joy of homemaking 
and always cook with love, right? A good mother always cooks with love for her family. And that's the difference between fast food and home cooked food is cook with love. As you can see, I have two racks of zucchini fries. I actually um, lifted the bottom rack up. I wanna do 20 minutes on 400 just to start off and see what happens. Hello, beautiful ladies. God bless you guys. Thank you, you made it to the end. You know what, these came out so good. I actually forgot to take an after photo once they came out of the oven. They were so yummy. We like the flour better than the omelet ones. And I made two different um, types of batches, flour and uh, omelet flour. I felt like it was too much salt in the omelet flour. So those came out a little too salty, but we enjoyed the one tray. So, you know, mistakes happen, it's okay. But when you use omelet flour, use less salt than you would with the regular flour if that makes any sense yeah because it was just too salty but anywho they came out so yummy we ate it with ranch dressing of course i just forgot to take um pictures to show y'all because i always like to do that to show you guys the finished product but you will not be disappointed check out the link in the description box for the recipe god bless you and happy cooking Ooh.